everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to see a very important topic uh, from the hive uh, tutorial series which is uh, how we can query the json data using the hive query language okay so let's get started quickly let me first uh, show you the data okay so i have already created this particular table uh, called as customer and this is what uh, the data looks like that if you can see there are three JSON objects uh, in this particular table so let me just highlight this first so it has the fields like let's say first name last name then if you see this particular field address which is again a JSON okay so it has again three key value uh, pairs one is street another one is city third one is state and the fourth one is zip okay so it's kind of a nested json we can say and let's assume a use case where this kind of a thing okay this kind of a json is stored in your hive table as one of the columns okay so if you just see this uh, if i describe this customer table for you so here we have this json as one single column of the data type string but under that the way we have stored the data is in this way which we just uh, saw so actually if you see it has the multiple fields like first name is can be treated as a separate field last name could be treated as a separate field uh, the subfields from this particular key uh, address those could be you know treated as uh, separate fields itself okay so in in this particular tutorial what we are going to say is how we can query these fields um, uh, which are stored as one of the you know column itself using the high query language so uh, before we go uh, into the details of how we can query this uh, believe me this is a very very important uh, scenario in uh, while doing the data engineering work uh, maybe some of you may have came across this kind of a scenario where you have this kind of a json data stored in one of the columns and there is there there is a need where let's say you wanted to run some kind of aggregation function or you know uh, the functions like max min count on the subfields of the json like for example here if you see this is kind of an integer the last uh, field if you see zip okay you may treat it as let's say salary or you know you wanted to find some average on some some number basically so how uh, we can do that so in hive there is a very very easy option using which we can uh, fetch the independent fields within the json object and that's what uh, we are going to see in this particular tutorial okay so let's get started quickly in hive there is a function called as get underscore json underscore object okay so if i you know write it for you get json object is the function and it takes two parameters okay it takes two parameters the first one is name of your table now here name of our table is customer okay so the first parameter it always take is the table name okay and the second parameter that it takes it is the field that you want to query now let's say uh, we wanted to query the first name okay so we need to write the exact same field name as that of what we have in the json okay and only the thing that you need to remember here is you have to you know prefix this particular uh, json key with the dollar symbol and what does this dollar symbol represents is the root element okay root element of the json so this is how uh, hive engine understands that it needs to fetch the json object by using the gate json object function from this particular table in our case it is going to be the customer table and from the root object whenever i'll get this first underscore name json field this is what is the object that i wanted to query okay so this is the meaning of this gate json object function let's try out couple of things okay so uh, as uh, we have taken the example of uh, how we can query the first name okay so if you like rest of the things are pretty much sim uh, similar select get json object this is the table name right dot json and in the single inverted quote dollar dot first name 
this is what which I wanted to query if you wanted to put any alias uh, that you can give uh, with the as clause and from table name okay so let's see so if you see here it has written me all the values for the first name from these three JSON objects okay James Josephine and art these are the three uh, names that we have under the first name object on the same lines you can query like anything that you want if you just uh, you know replace this particular thing with the last name then you are going to uh, going to get these last name whatever values uh, this particular last name for, uh, feature has okay now there is one more level of complexity here uh, as you already know that one of the uh, JSON node is itself is a JSON in uh, in its uh, self, right? So here for the address we have again four options. One is street, then city, then state, and zip. Okay. So how we can query those? It's a very simple rule uh, which follows the same similar funda that you just replace this dollar one with the value that you wanted to have. Like first of all reach till address and then whichever uh, subfields that you wanted to query like for example let's say i'll write city here okay so what it will do it will reach till address then again address has subfields called as uh, city which is again separated by this dot right so it will reach out to this city and it will query this particular object uh, and will display the, uh, the result here okay so this is how we can directly query the json elements using the get json object function in the hive also one more beauty of this particular function is you can again run some kind of aggregated function like i mentioned right so let's say i wanted to uh, run a count function as you can see in this particular query that i whatever result this particular gate json object method or function will give me right i wanted to run some kind of count or max mean whatever average uh, aggregation functions uh, that are present on the top of the result this is also possible okay so let me just run one function for you so and since this is an aggregated function right it is certainly going to execute a MapReduce program uh, behind the scenes before it gives you uh, the results so basically if you uh, remember the data set we have three JSON objects in the uh, stored in in one of the uh, one of the columns. So it should return the count as three, which is this. Okay. On the same lines, let's execute one of one more uh, you know aggregation function, which is max. It is also gonna uh, execute a MapReduce program, and it will give us the max number uh, from the zip field. This is just an example. You can consider this particular field as, you know, let's say you wanted to find the maximum salary uh, from your employee data or something around that. Okay. So uh, basically, by just replacing these uh, column names, you but the function will remain the same. So this is what the maximum number uh, that we have uh, into the JSON. Okay. So this is what uh, I just wanted to share with you all that uh, even though it's a very small and very simple function, but in various scenarios, uh, you know, this is a very, very useful function uh, while you are, you know, trying to query the JSON objects. Okay. And it will save lots of, you know, data transformation uh, efforts as well. You really don't have to flatten the JSON first and then query uh, then load it into some another table and then query the data or you know do some kind of uh, transformation on json and then query it this function will directly enable you uh, to query the json objects okay so i hope uh, you find this particular video uh, very useful and you will be able to use it in uh, some of the scenarios uh, that you are dealing with i'll thank you for watching this particular video and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much